Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 176. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, getting through the week, or the start of the week, I guess still. Okay, um, so today, today's episode is going to be a fun one because there's just so many different areas we're going to cover. It's going to be quite pack related. Um, sorry, my watch keeps beeping, but I need to I need to put myself on do not disturb in future. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite pack related and I'm sure you'll enjoy. If you do, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button. I'd absolutely love to see 2000 likes on this episode and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Thank you. Um, so I believe we start with Squad Battles Rewards, then we go um, Marquee Matchups, maybe, followed by a Campaign Bag, followed by some Store Packs, followed by some Objectives and Objective Packs and a Player Unlock. It's all going down today. Um, and yeah, it was basically just me sat there yesterday on Monday just grinding away whilst watching Twitch and Netflix and, you know, just getting stuff done really so uh it was a pretty chill chill monday didn't play any online games for today's episode and i mean i mean you're you're watching this on tuesday um if i'm going to start if i'm going to do any rivals this week i guess i am I, I don't have to i guess i could leave it i could skip it for a week but we just wouldn't get rewards which i obviously would like um then i need to get cracking on if i'm going to play them and then Oh, little uh, little Lukaku, tidy. That's from Squad Battles Rewards. That's about 16,000 coins. I believe there's also an 84 in here as well. Uh, so 20k from that pack. Can't complain. A few players added to the club as well. Just no issues with that whatsoever. Um, but yeah, we need to also do like playoffs and stuff. So uh, we need to get onto the online gaming. I actually haven't played an online game for a few days because... Um, I actually finished my weekend league on Friday uh, before going away for the weekend. So need to. I'm probably going to be quite rusty tomorrow uh, or today as you're watching this when I play some rivals or some foot champs playoffs. But uh, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll get a few wins. Um, I mean, I've got Drogba, so I'm all right. You know, should, should be fine. Uh, but let's get into marquee matchups. Pretty much had the stuff in my club to do this. I might have had to go out and buy one or two players to. I don't think I had an Arsenal player, so I think I had to go out and buy one of them. Or was it Atletico Club and Atletico Club and, and, and Barca? I think it might have been one of them as well, actually. Um, but yeah, not much. As you can see, we're at just about 475,000 coins. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what we can make happen with that today. So marquee matchups complete. I think the overall pack is just a, is a rare Electrum this week. They're okay. But I do miss the days, and I say that I think I say this every week. I do miss the days of a, a good mega pack or or better um, as the overall reward from marquee matchups. But at least they've kept them tradable, right? At least we can sell anything that we may that we may actually get from this uh, this SBC. So nothing really in pack number one. What's it going to be next? Then I try and open these from like smallest value to largest jumbo premium gold pack. No lights up again. English goalkeeper, that's going to be Nick Pope. Um, all right, moving on to whatever the next pack is. I mean, at least this throws some players into the club because there's other puzzle SBCs to do. There's also upgrade packs that are out now. Um, so 78 plus upgrade packs. I wouldn't mind getting stuck into a few of them. I think they're upgrade packs and not picks this week, aren't they? Typically, that's how it goes. You get like the worst one. When you've got a good promo week. And this is a good promo week to be fair. Um, and then you get the player picks. When it's all a little bit quiet and dead. So uh, yeah I would imagine that they're packs that we're. I'll, I'll, I'll get a few of them completed and open for you. In tomorrow's video. Um, amongst some gameplay and stuff. Hopefully we can pack a, a few big big players. Lights up then. It's going to be. oh, I mean as the overall reward for marquee matchups. An 84 rated. Chananolu. Uh yeah, <laughs> we've had better weeks. Uh, and normally, most weeks, we actually get a player, like a random inform or something that's worth a decent amount of money. Uh, turns out that's not the case this week. All three of this week's reds go into the 85-rated squad for the mixed campaign bag, or whatever it is. 
whatever it's called. Is it a party bag? Or is that a thing of the past? Either way, um, we're going to do this today. You basically get one of uh, Future Stars, Centurions, and is it Road to the Final? I think, I'm not sure, uh, but it's definitely Centurions and Future Stars. Um, the 83 rated squad is fairly self-explanatory. Get that done. And we can open up the player, the player pick, the mixed campaign player pick. Uh, one of three. What's it going to be? Centurions, Future Stars, Future Stars, 87, 87, 87. Oh, dear. Uh, I deliberated for a little bit and realized that Azpilicueta was the most expensive. I probably will never use him. Probably look good in an SBC, wouldn't he? So uh, that might be the case. But for now, we're going to take him instead of Willock. Um, which I'm sure my Newcastle fan friends are not going to not gonna enjoy, but uh, it is what it is. Now I decide to open some of these 150k packs. Uh, the first one, we see gold. Now, does that mean there can't be anything good underneath it? Dangling in the pack? Well, we shall see. 87 rated Rodri pops up, which is not great considering you spent 150k on a pack. And unfortunately, it means that there can't be a promo player behind it. At least I think that's the case. Uh, so we're not going to make money on that one. We do get an, an extra 50k pack in there, uh, which is quite good. So we can open that up as well. It gives us another chance. I just feel like these are worth the risk. I'm not doing much with my coins right now. I'm quite happy to just spend them on these packs to see what we can get. See if, you know, I had a mate opened a couple of these with coins and got... The promo Upper Meccano back to back. Now, that's the Footwiz admin got that. Now, that to me, it, it's worth the risk of trying to open these to try and get something good because that was like 1.5 million in returns. Um, as you can see here, gold again, Brazil, goalkeeper from Liverpool. Hey, at least it's an Allison. That's an 89 overall. Um, we can sell that for. Getting close to 40,000 coins. Anything else in there? Well, there is a an inform. There is a walkout. Uh, anything else dangling at the end of the pack? There are three duplicates there. <clears throat> well, 50k pack and an 83. So we're definitely not made our money back again. And then the 50k pack again doesn't have... Oh, does it have a Van Dyke? No, it has a Delict. Uh, so we could have made decent money there. Um... But you have to remember, we're in a market where 83 sell for 2,000 something, 84 sell for 4 or 5,000, 85 is for 13,000, 86 is for 18,000, 87s and above. You know, you can actually make a decent amount of money back. Walk out in the third and final one of these that we've done, it's going to be Harry Kane. So, as much as that's a nice high rated piece of fodder, I could sell the card and actually make some money back. Um... I fear that we've wasted we've wasted coins here. Now, you might be upset about that. Apologies if you are. But I was willing to take the risk on nearly half a million coins worth of packs. If you think about it, they all cost me 150k. Three of them, 450k. But you also get three 50k packs as well. So that they're worth 50k each. So I, fi I figured I'd call it half a million coins. Um, I'm sure that's all right. Um, Unacceptable, but uh, yeah, we 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 struggled. We we struggled with the with the money making side of things. I didn't. I unluckily didn't get a promo player. You know, it could have been a it could have been a fantasy for a hero in one of them. Unfortunately, it wasn't. <clears throat> so four hundred and fifty k spent. Oh, my voice keeps going today. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So that shouting at the bottom match the other day. Um, <laughs> it's really curny. I'm croaky as anything. Uh, I've got a tiny sip left in my Robinson's drink. Don't worry. That's not like fully concentrated. I just fill up that bottle when it's getting low and, and we go like that. It is diluted. Uh, so as you can see, bunch of stuff sold few things still left to list up and whatnot. Um, I think after all is said and done, we had about 50 gold rares in the club added. You know, good for upgrade SBCs and whatnot. And we sold stuff to the value of 
250,000 coins, meaning we net lost 200,000 coins. That was the risk. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. I didn't dare do another one. Once I got these coins, as you can see, we're back up to 200 odd thousand. Um, I didn't dare do another one just in case we didn't get anything because at least we made a good 250k back. Um, and we're just down 200k. That's no big deal. You can easily make that in a weekend league. And um, what else am I doing with the coins, really? You know, no one's no one for that budget is getting into my squad. Uh, but we do now have some good fodder players. It may well end up paying off in a different way. You know, it may well be that some of those gold rares that are in my club go into some player picks or some packs, upgrade packs. Something good comes out of that. You just never know. So uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be uh, too sad about it, I'll be honest. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I'll probably end up doing something like that again as well. I, I don't mind the risk. Uh, so I do discard some of the golds, the, the really, really low-rated ones, because uh, I was I just wanted to get some of those coins back. I realized that if we got up to 270-something, 280-something, then then we would have literally made quarter of a million and uh, and, and only lost 200K. So we're also going to make it up. I made it up in man hours here <laughs> by uh, unlocking some packs via the objectives system. I played eight games of squad battles, which is never never necessarily the most fun thing to do. Um, but it does give me a loan for the uh, elite fantasy foot heroes. I chose Di Natale. I've already got a version of Alawiran. I know I've already got a version of Di Natale, but I think this one looks quite a lot better. Um and if you get some upgrades, that could be a nice loan to have. We The main idea was to basically get Foyth done. Uh, I did it with a silver squad and got uh, silver beasts done at the same time. And a couple of other uh, objectives that just randomly happened as well. So uh, we've got like nine packs to open here. There'll be a couple more as well. So I've gone and got, you know, double digit packs uh, to open up here to see if we can get literally anything back. Um because anything there would help us out for, for upgrade packs later on in the week. And it's no lights up. But these a couple of these are just 75 plus players. They're the ones you get from Silver Beasts. And then you get the Rare Mega Pack, don't you? So, uh, yeah. Rare Mega Pack is worth, what, 55,000 coins? There's also some other packs in here as well that aren't too shabby. A uh, little Bruno G right there. Can we get lights up or anything? No lights up in the next one either. Uh, that is going to be a oh, just a 75 rated Stark. Um, next one, though, surely lights up, right? And it does. We get ourselves English right wing back. That is going to be a little Reese James 84 overall. No complaints from a one-player pack right there. And next pack doesn't light up. It's just going to be an 81, I believe he is. Uh, yeah, Barak in for Fur Fiorentina. And we get a walkout from one of them. We get ourselves French. Oh, I thought it was going to be Mbappe. I just thought for a minute we might actually finally get Mbappe. Uh, still not happened. It's never going to happen. Maybe during team of the season or something, right? Uh, but yeah, lights up again for the next one. We get English left wing. That is a Jackie Grealish. And it's a double 84 pack as well. We get a little Chiesa in there also. Um... The rare mega, was it worth it? Well, we get lights up. No promo player, I'm afraid. Uh, but it is just an 84 in Castiles. There was a there was a FIFA where he was 86 rated, right? I can't remember when. But um, yeah, eventually we end up getting Foyth done as well. So uh, there is a fantasy foot in this episode. And it is just one that we've unlocked. Um, but according to Twitter... Two or three upgrades is looking fairly likely for him. Hey, and if that happened and he was like an 89 rated card, actually could be very, very good. So we might not put him into an SBC for a little while. Uh, yeah, it might not be the smartest thing to do if there's a possibility that he gets upgraded. 81 plus double is going to give me an 84 Insigne. Insigne. Uh, now in the MLS, of course. And an 83 Hradetsky. Uh, but that's basically it. You know, we've grinded away at the objectives. We've spent some coins on packs. We've done squad battles, rewards, marquee matchups, and other puzzle SBCs. I hope you have enjoyed. Do me a small favor. Hit the thumbs up button. I'd absolutely love to see 2,000 likes on this. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
Cheers. Follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great day, everyone. I'll be back again tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Peace.